What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the BTR Garage. My name is Justin. In today's video, we're gonna be sharpening up my 2022 GR86. We're gonna be polishing the car. We're gonna be ceramic coating the car. We're also gonna be ripping off the factory PPF or the factory paint protection film. Let's go ahead and get started. So the PPF installed on my car is actually a factory option. So it was shipped from the factory with this installed and the factory PPF just plain sucks. <laughs> it leaves seams all over the hood and the fenders as well as the mirror caps. You can see the line in the middle of the hood. It's on the front of the hood as well. None of the PPF is wrapped around the edges so it is out of sight. So it's very ugly not great also on the mirror caps here you can see that line towards the top obviously the car was very dirty so it was easy to see after letting the car sit out in the hot sunshine for a good hour or two we're able to peel this stuff right off simply grab it from the corner start pulling away and slowly it'll start making its way up you can do this for pretty much every part of the car that has the factory PPF. This stuff is not super high quality. It's like a $250 option from the factory to have this stuff installed. And the job that is done or the installation shows for the cost. Like I said, it's just not good. It looks bad. And eventually you're going to have discoloration in the paint where the PPF is installed and where no PPF is installed, which is not good. And in the end, what I actually do after getting all of this removed, I do take the car to a professional paint protection film installer. I have the entire hood covered in PPF, so the edges are wrapped all around. You can't see any of the PPF on the hood. I had the entire front bumper wrapped, and I also had those mirror caps wrapped as well, all to a point where you can't actually see the film on the car. Now back to the factory PPF, we've got it all taken off. And you can see the beautiful Trento blue paint shining in the sunlight. Now with all of the factory PPF removed and the car washed and good and cleaned up, we're going to start polishing this thing. So I have a couple tools, a Rupa's professional 21 millimeter orbital polisher and this little porter cable, trusty old porter cable that I've had for many, many years. In fact, I've had the Rupa's polisher for over 10 years as well, but we're going to polish the car top to bottom, get all of the little minor imperfections and scratches that I might have accumulated on the car after the first four or five months of owning it. I didn't do this polishing and coating until a little bit later on after I had had the car for a bit. But as you can see, we're going over the entire car. This is a long process. You do have to be patient if you're doing it yourself and also have the right tools and products to get this done as well. But if you do it right and you do a good job, you get pretty good results. This is what the surface looked like on the roof with the scratches and imperfections before polishing. And then after polishing, it's pretty much like glass. <laughs> it's reflective. You can almost see right through it. Now, like I said, you can DIY this process yourself. I actually had a detailing business years ago that I did on the side, so I've got a lot of experience and practice with this, as well as owning the professional tools and equipment. But you can get away with the DIY using the Porter Cable tool that I showed earlier. This one you're looking at there is a Rupa's Bigfoot. That is a professional grade polisher. I'm using yellow Rupa's pads. This is kind of a fine polishing pad that has a little bit of correction to it. And I'm also using Sonax perfect finish for my polish. It all finishes down super nice, super clear, and you can do it in one step without having to do multiple polishing steps on the car. After removing all of the polishing residue with a product similar to Gion Prep, I'm breaking out the ceramic coating. This is C Quartz UK 3.0 and CarPro Reload. These are all CarPro products, high-end products, and one of my favorites to use. So this is, again, a ceramic coating. The application is really simple. All you need is the equipment that comes in the little kit. I'll have links for this stuff down in the description. But you simply just wipe on the product with the provided applicator and suede cloth, going over the car in equal motions with equal coverage. A little bit of punk rock music <laughs> helps make the time pass as I'm nodding my head there. But uh, give it a good coat, you let it sit for about 60 seconds, and then you can wipe it off after it flashes or starts to dry. You can kind of see a visual change in the actual coating 
uh, more visible on the right hand side of the screen there but to use the provided cloths and some other cloths to wipe off once and then wipe off a second time to get your ultra stunning glass like finish this stuff is incredible and on the Torino blue paint it just looks awesome the final step in the coating process is applying the CarPro Reload Spray, which I actually don't have any video of, but it's simply a spray bottle. You spray it onto the surface of the paint at least 60 minutes after the coating cures, and then you wipe it off. It's like an extra protective coating on top of your coating, and then you are done. The result is unreal gloss and shine. It's absolutely amazing on the Torino Blue GR86. I love it. After polishing and coating the car, the metallic paint just pops like crazy. You can actually see it sparkling even in the pictures here, but super nice even in the shaded or darker lighting situations. So this is an overcast scenario. And then most importantly, when you're out at the track or the autocross, the car just looks amazing. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up. The GR86 is looking sharp, looks super sick, very clean. The car just pops, it's amazing in the sun. Really loving the Torino Blue paint on this car. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you if you're interested in any of the products that I use to polish the car, to coat the car with the ceramic coating. You can find those down below as well. And thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Stick around, we got more stuff coming up very soon. Stay safe out there. I am checking out. We'll talk to you all next time.